Welcome to my YouTube channel. Behind the camera, smartphone is your host, David or Dave, and this video presentation will be focused on how can you reassemble your disassembled Western Digital MyBook Essential enclosure so that you can fit inside or upgrade, replace uh, the hard drive of your choice. The enclosure uh, right here and all of its allotted parts actually are from a 3 terabyte model, meaning that the hard drive that was originally inside this enclosure was 3 terabytes in capacity, naturally Western Digital manufacturer, uh, green edition, so the model was probably WD30E ARX. But the hard drive that I'll be using for the purpose of this uh, video presentation is this one right here, again uh, Western Digital, but this is a purple edition, uh, 2 terabytes in capacity, still naturally SATA 3 bus speed or bus line, and the model is WD20 PURX, this hard drive is new, uh, it hasn't been used, zero hours on the clock, at least that's what Crystal Disk Info program uh, tells me. And in this video presentation I'll be fitting this hard drive into this enclosure. So I'll be attaching these four rubber feet accordingly to the ends of the hard drive and then of course prior to that I'll be attaching this controller onto it with the two allotted screws in this metallic piece and then when I will connect uh, everything up I will insert the hard drive into this main body of the enclosure and after I will succeed in that I will reattach this transparent piece of plastic which is then used for uh, indication in right, right here where this rubber part on the controller is underneath is a SMD uh, white light which works as a sort of a drive activity indicator and the transparent piece of plastic is then used to bring that indication to the front of the mask of this enclosure so right around here however for the sake of clarity uh, argument this controller here is a faulty one so we won't be, after we reassemble everything, we won't be testing uh, the external hard drive in the allotted con uh, enclosure on a laptop computer or desktop computer. Uh, this video presentation is just a sort of a reveal or an explanation how you can reassemble this. And it can also be served as a video on how to disassemble a Western Digital MyBook Essential external hard drive as well. In order to uh, install the controller onto your hard drive, you'll need some sort of a Phillips screwdriver. I have basically a universal set of uh, bits for the screwdriver and I'm using this one right here. I'll put a link to these in the description box below. They're very universal, very handy because they also come with uh, the necessary torque bits. I think they're all somewhere on this side. Let's open it up. So this is how they look like. Uh, the torque bits that are around here, they're also good if you want to, let's say, disassemble the hard drive and take out the neodymium magnets that are inside and the servo motor as well. So that's it. So that's the only tool as such that you'll need in order to attach that controller onto the hard drive of your choice. Before we proceed to the actual work of reassembling everything, I'm just going to give you a quick visual indication on this part of the body of the uh, enclosure from Western Digital. I'm just going to show you the back side so that you can see and receive a sort of a confirmation that this enclosure came from a 3 terabyte model. So this is the back side, so I'm just going to rotate and zoom in or bring closer to the camera. So this is the proof, 30 HBK. This means that this uh, enclosure, it housed a 3 terabyte hard drive. 
So that's it. Now before we proceed, maybe just a little quick glimpse or overview of the label on the hard drive as well. And the back side of the rough. So now we're just going to connect or attach this controller onto the SATA connector of your hard drive. With my controller I lost the sort of a dark grayish paper triangle shape that was originally on this side of the controller so if you lost yours as well you'll need to add some sort of a cardboard a slimmer one uh, like so because you don't want any shorts happening on this side and this is of course the SATA connector so now we will attach the controller onto the hard drive and it goes like so and then just correct this piece of paper underneath so after you have done that you can use one of the screws that will go into this hole and attach it and secure it all done so the screw is in place now we have to flip the hard drive that way so we will install this metallic piece and the allotted screw as well so this is how it's supposed to look like overall or in the end maybe a little more up close on everything so one screw goes over here and the other one is attached to this side of the hard drive with this metallic piece so now we have that assembled now we move on to the rubber feet now in regards to the allotted or assorted for rubber feet that come with your Western Digital MyBook Essential enclosure this is how they're supposed to be put on the hard drive of your choice as you see in front of you in this configuration uh, I may mention if you get like a black edition hard drive you won't have this step over here so if you want to uh, reattach this rubber feet you'll probably have to use an exacto knife to make a necessary incision here in order to increase this hole right here because I know uh, I had a black edition uh, hard drive inserted into one of these enclosures so you don't have this step over here so you have to cut this rubber feet a little bit in order to widen it to fit on that angle of the hard drive so this is how it looks like overall when you have attached all the four rubber feet onto your hard drive this is much more up close and like so another angle again this side and this is the top view so now that we have gone this out of the way now we need to insert the hard drive with all the four rubber feet attached onto it into the main body of the enclosure now this will be much more trickier so I have my main plastic body of the of the enclosure ready and um, I'm going to mention one thing on one pair of these uh, rubber feet you have little three dents made into them so on this leg and also on this one why is that important of course for orientation sake because also here in this angle or this side you have three protruding pieces of plastic sticking out or towards inside of the enclosure and also here on this angle you see these three so this will be important when you will be pushing the hard drive into this plastic enclosure which is enough flexible so that you won't break it in the process like so so I'm going to show you how to do that in a couple of moments so this is how you're supposed to for easier orientation and insertion position your enclosure so this side where it has these 
three or six protruding plastic pieces that this is on the ground and then you would position your hard drive on top of it and make sure that these two rubber feet or these angles go into the enclosure So now we pretty much have one end of the hard drive inside the enclosure, so this one will be much more trickier to pull it off. So in order to get the entire hard drive inside, I found the best way is that you remove these two rubber feet and so that you get the hard drive inside as such, and then you tilt it like so, that you bring it to this side so that it falls on this angle and then you reattach the rubber feet and then you push it inside in this manner so the opposite side like so then you just tilt a little bit these two rubber feet and you push uh, the hard drive inside Almost got it. Oh, that's it. Then we make a little minor adjustments and we're done. So, this is it. Let's have a look. So, this is nicely aligned. And also here on this side. Again, we managed to break nothing. So, that's good. And also here everything is well aligned. Let's look at the other angle. So this ledge is aligned with this piece of the ledge on the rubber feet. And also this one with uh, this rubber feet. So that is also leveled. But here you need a little space between this protruding plastic leg and the rubber feet and also here so now there all there is to do is attach that transparent piece of plastic and then we'll slide the oval mask onto it and this enclosure is assembled so I have my transparent piece of plastic ready I think this one is missing a smaller part it's supposed to be here but you know nevertheless so this is supposed to come like this on so we insert it into this hole right here and I was right uh, there's supposed to be two legs supportably so now we'll just make sure it is inserted into this hole port and pushed nicely in here so this is it so now all there is to is to attach the front oval mask onto this enclosure and this external hard drive is assembled and ready before I add the final piece to this um, enclosure or the main body of the off I'm just going to go quickly over how do you insert the hard drive into the main body of the enclosure after you have added the four rubber feet onto it so again you have to make sure that this part where you have these three or six protruding plastic legs sticking towards the inside of the enclosure make sure that this side is on the on the ground or flat surface and then when you add the hard drive you insert it into the enclosure at about I don't know 45 degree angle and when you push it inside sadly you have to take out these two rubber feet 
when then you align it and when you put the hard drive in this manner then you tilt it towards yourself and then you attach the remaining two rubber feet and then you have to bend them a little bit uh, downwards and then you push everything towards the main body of the enclosure and then you make the necessary changes so everything lines up so this is it so I have the final piece in place ready for assembly uh, this oval front piece of the mask of this enclosure so before I attach it onto the main body of the rough I'm just going to point out a couple of things when you attach it so what you have to look out for so when you do take out uh, this mask it is you know, good that you keep these four latches or legs intact so that you don't break them but most importantly uh, when you're attaching the mask onto the main body uh, at the top and at the bottom you have two sort of railway lines here and also on this side these are important when you slide the mask onto the body so that it lines up to the four protruding plastic legs on each side basically locking these two sides into place preventing them from going outwards away from the main body so those two railways lock behind these two plastic legs on this side and then here at the top then they also lock here again at the top behind and here as well so that's it so now we're just going to align everything into place and then you just slide the front mask downwards so the mask is ready so let's have a look so there isn't supposed to be any space between the main body of the enclosure and the front mask not not even a couple of millimeters everything has to be snugly fit and also here at the bottom as you can see no space so now we just slide it downwards and that locking sound is exactly what you need to hear press it downwards a little bit so this is all nice and secure there you go so this external hard drive is now ready to be plugged in powered on and connected of course not this one because it has a faulty controller but for your case whatever you'll be fitting inside in your western digital mybook essential enclosure So in conclusion you have reached the end of this video presentation on how to reassemble or replace upgrade your internal hard drive in your MyBook Essential enclosure to any given capacity uh, still from the same manufacturer of course Western Digital into this enclosure so an enclosure that I was using for the purpose of this video presentation was from a 3 terabyte model but I have fit inside a 2 terabyte hard drive. If you have any comments, uh, if anything is unclear, leave your comments, questions in the comment section below. Other than that, subscribe, like, and we'll see you again soon. This is David, goodbye.